fellow math heads, today we'll be learning about polynomials and how they're used in the real world. They're used quite frequently in daily life. I hope you're up or down with polynomials because we're about to go on a ride. Engineers use polynomials to graph the curves of roller coasters and bridges. Roller coasters are modeled using polynomial functions. One function we can use to design a roller coaster is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the standard form of a quadratic equation. When we graph the function, it will actually look like a portion of the roller coaster. Here we go! Here's Timmy. Timmy has $35 on his mom's credit card to spend at the toy store. He plans on getting two slinkies, one water toy, and two sets of markers. Timmy needs to know how much he will have left over. To do that, he will use an equation like this, where S stands for slinky, W stands for water toy, and M stands for markers. Now, he has to plug in the cost of the toy, so the equation becomes... Timmy will then have to find out how much he has left over. $10.53 is what's left over. Now he can spend the rest on V-Bucks or give his mother back her credit card. Another way we can use polynomials is to model projectile motion. For example, shooting a basket in basketball. The projectile motion equation is based off the quadratic equation but in this case, it's h equals negative 16t squared plus vt plus h sub 0, where h is the height, t is the time, v is the initial velocity, and h sub 0 is the initial height. So, if Billy needs to make one more basket before that buzzer goes off, let's take in consideration that Billy is 6 feet tall, the hoop is 10 feet from the floor, and he shoots at a velocity of 20 feet per second from the free throw line. When does he need to shoot the ball to make sure it makes it before the buzzer? So our equation becomes 10 equals negative 16t squared plus 20t plus 6. This means he only needs one second of air time to make the basket. Whoa, that was quite the ride. I hope you learned how frequently polynomials are used in daily life. They can be very helpful to figure out complex problems. For example, what do you call a parrot that won't eat? A polynomial!